anything for you yet? It's supposed to be some kind of energy booster, but I don't feel any different. You know, between me and you, I think we should ask for more money. <laughs> A lot more. Pretty sure this wasn't part of the contract. But I am willing to renegotiate. Sign up with the lady downstairs. Wouldn't recommend it though. No question. You've got the antibodies. Thank you very much. Wait, what? You could be the key to saving this world, Jake Mueller. <laughs> Save myself first. <laughs> Something? Just my balance. I'm fine. Sherry Birkin, the United yeah, yeah, States. Yeah, yeah, good for you, but that's not really the time. You coming? After you. Those things up there in Tuavo, they're the BOWs the insurgents are using. And that explains why there's a shitload of BSA troops here. We need to get out of the country without drawing either party's attention. Goddamn BSAA, what the hell are you shooting at? Everyone in your platoon is one of those Juavo. That's just like them. Come on, we have to get out of here. Man, look at this circus. You got any popcorn? Stop talking. First, I want 200,000 up front, another 200 when this is over. Oh, and BOWs, those are extra. An additional grand each. I'm not here to hire you. What? Why are you here? Your blood. What are you, the Red Cross or something? No, listen, those things that attacked us, they were all exposed to a new virus called the C virus. Mm -hmm. The same strain that you just took a dose of. It didn't affect you because you've got the antibodies. Right now, we're racing against a global bioterrorist attack and we needed a vaccine yesterday. We need you, Jake. We need your blood. Fifty million dollars. What? Cash. Non-negotiable. That'll get you one pint. Looks like they're expecting us. We're gonna have to shoot our way out. Agreed. We don't have a choice now. Looks like the BSA have got their work cut out for them. You don't know the half of it. Last I checked, my employers had a tank parked on the other side of the river. 
The only way the BSAA are leaving that bridge again are in body bags. Out there. This place looks like it's gonna collapse too. Somebody ought to call the building inspector. Yeah. It's even colder in here than it was outside. Get over it then, huh? Gotcha, son of a bitch! I swear, this mission gets harder by the minute. But at least you're still safe. We've got a lot riding on us. <laughs> Three years ago, I thought I was gonna die in the jungles of South America. Enemy had us surrounded. Before I knew it, everyone on my team was dead. I had lost my gun in the scramble. This bastard comes at me with a knife. Probably thought I wasn't even worth a bullet. Why are you telling me this? Man, dying on a blade is the last way you wanna go. Ugh, it's a bitch. Mercs like me, you don't get a say in how we die. That's just how it goes. It's kind of what you signed up for. Isn't it? Dying for money is one thing. That's my choice. But dying for no good reason doesn't sit right with me. So, 
You want to tell me what that big freaking behemoth was and why he's trying to kill me? That thing is just like the Juavo, a bioorganic weapon created with the C virus. He's being used by a terrorist organization called Neo Umbrella. Never heard of him. They want to study the antibodies in your blood, and they don't care if you're dead or alive. <laughs> I was better off as a mercenary. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. The world needs you. No, no, not me. Just my blood. Well, the world can have it. As long as someone ponies up the dough. Sherry Birkin, National Security. Sherry Birkin, you were in Raccoon City. How do you know that? Claire. Wait, are you Chris? My sister's told me all about you. Chris, the man is a wanted insurgent. Yes, he's a mercenary, but right now he's under the protection of the U.S. government. He's no threat to the PSAA. Unless someone pays me to be. What did you just say? What? Nothing. HQ to Alpha Team. Reinforcements are unable to land due to anti-aircraft artillery. Take them out. Alpha Team copy. What? We're picking up a large bogey on radar. It's heading right for you. Survival were higher when I was a soldier of fortune. I'm setting charges on the anti aircraft guns now, but it's gonna take a while. See if you can buy me some time. I need you to distract that giant BOW. I can't work with that BOW around. Chris, we'll take care of one of those big ones. Thank you for the job, eh? I'm setting the charges now! Good job, Alpha! One gun left! There's another giant BOW closing in at your location! That's the one we lost! Two hearts! Alpha! Prepare to engage! Saying to me, pal, sorry. You've got to be kidding me. My mistake. Have a safe flight. I 
need to run by you. Mr. Mueller is requesting compensation for his cooperation. Fifty million dollars. Yes. Yes, I understand. I'll let him know. So, we got a deal? Yes, we have a deal. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Oh. <sighs> By the way, the guy that you're all chummy with back there. You mean Chris? That's the one. What about him? Forget it. What was that? My gut's going with something bad. And here it comes. Say I didn't warn you. What the hell? 
gonna tell me what the hell just happened? Long story. Yeah, maybe it's your blood that should be testing for vaccines. They already did. More than I could stand. What are you doing? The data's gone. What data? Your data. Your blood analysis, your genome, everything that we need to make a vaccine. No, I mean everything I need to get my 50 million. No. Well, come on, Supergirl. Let's get looking. All your intel saved on a handful of data chips. We've got to find them. In the middle of a snowstorm? You really want me to work for that money, don't you? Hey, look. There's a shack up there. Finally, a little luck. Okay. First we find the data. Then we'll take shelter there. So this data you need to find? It's about me, isn't it? There are three data chips. I lost them in the crash. The locator will pinpoint each one's position. Okay, we find your gear, and then I brew us up a nice hot pot of coffee. Jesus, what are these nasty looking things? They're Juavo, and they're encased in a cocoon. Well, isn't pretty. I'm so glad I was a meal to that shit they gave us. So this little thing is chock full of data on me, huh? <laughs> Two left. Better hurry before I freeze my ass off. So, you always been like that? You know, the whole healing thing? My dad was a scientist. He was working on BOWs when I was exposed. Luckily, I was treated with the vaccine before it was too late. But the virus adjusted and adapted. It's been a part of me ever since. Well, what happened to your father? His research killed him. By the time he died, his body had mutated so much, he wasn't even recognizable. Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to... That's all right. Besides, I didn't walk out of it empty-handed. Well, yeah, you got superpowers. That's not what I meant. The people who saved me, Leon and Claire, are the closest friends I've ever had. Claire is a BSAA guy's sister, right? They risked their lives for me back in Raccoon City. I guess I'm still just trying to live up to their example. Never giving up. No matter the odds. Speaking of odds... Some party crashers. This cabin's invitation for me.
about me. I'm built like a tank. Fine, I won't. Let's go. Wow, nice to keep this. Watch your stuff. I wonder how deep this mine goes. anywhere without that key then let's go get it Rip that won't take no for an answer.
beat him. Just barely. Is that the exit? Yeah. Once we get out there, I'll radio for pickup. My team should be close by. That's the rendezvous. About damn time. Wesker? He lost me. Albert Wesker was a colossal imbecile. A fool who tried to destroy the world. He was also your father. What? Which makes you heir to a very special blood type. Weapon to kill assholes like you? A shitty prison cell. It's been a real slice of heaven.
Permission to use firearms has been granted. I knew she was here. Where are we? China. Obviously, but where? Why? Don't know, don't care. There's no I'm done being their guinea pig. What did they do to you? <laughs> Plenty. They said something about using my antibody to enhance the C virus. Oh no. What else did they say? You know anything about him, Albert Wesker? What? Take that as a yes. We talked about him. A lot. I guess he had an antibody that could fight off any virus. Apparently, he abused his gift. Took it for granted, and then ended up turning himself into some kind of monster. You know, I thought dear old dad was just a deadbeat who skipped out on us. No, 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 he was actually a freaking nut job who almost destroyed the world. Your father's actions have nothing to do with you. Yeah, but his blood does. It's the whole reason why we're even here. I mean, come on. You really think that crazy doesn't run in the family? That nothing of who my father was didn't somehow get passed on down to me? You of all people should know that's true. I'm just saying. The man that I am, the things that I've done, at least it all makes a little bit more sense now. What? You can blame your father all you want, but at some point, you have to take responsibility for your own actions. I have to let my superiors know I'm okay. But first, we need a way to contact them. Hey, look, we can get out here. Yeah, but until I talk to my superiors, I don't even know where to go. Why does everything have to be such a pain in the ass? All right, I guess we better find a way for you to follow home. So, what'd they have you doing for the past six months? You name it. They were trying to research the virus I'm carrying. It was the same thing I went through after Raccoon City. And it was just as shitty the second time. Jeez, I'm sorry. Data from your experiments. Here we go. Hello. It's all right here. Why don't you call your boss? It's me, Sherry Birkin. Yes, he's okay. We were detained at a facility in China. Really? All right, I'll send you our exact coordinates. They're already here in China. It's over. We're saved. Well, hallelujah. So are you ready? 
Done. Now let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. These guys aren't much for conversation. Good. I was sick of this place anyway. Are you kidding me? statue if I got it to the right angle. <laughs> Thanks for the opening. <laughs>
if we didn't have enough problems! Watch out! Here we go! Hold on! Are here too. Jake? Chris's team will protect us. We don't need their help. I didn't ask for it either. You know you don't like me. Chris is here. All right, all right. Nothing about Redfield. Jesus, getting old. Guys, I don't know what they're dealing with. Time to clue them in. I thought we'd be here all night. This way! Okay! Screw all this running! I'm taking that chopper out! How? With what? Not sure. Kinda making this up as I go. Chris is on the roof trying to take that chopper down. Not going too well for him, is it? Want to show him how it's done? Wesker was my father. Uh, I don't think so. Why? No reason. Maybe I just rubbed him the wrong way. Did you even see the kind of helicopter they sent after us? And a bird like that cost around 15 million dollars. <laughs> Man, terrorism is lucrative. Maybe they have an oil baron or two in their pocket. Oil barons, huh? You know, in the country I was born in, people think Uncle Sam causes most of the problems in this world. Loves to blame America for everything. We're not the bad guy, Jake. Look, these terrorists have unleashed bioweapons on our country, too. Oh, so the whole world's going to hell. And you're the only one who can save it. detail yeah I heard you became an agent why are you here I'm tracking the men behind all this chief security advisor Simmons What? Th there must be some sort of mistake I report to Simmons he's your supervisor we're on our way to meet with him right now where is he uh... I need to know hey! Hey!
Let me handle this. But your orders were to avoid contact with anyone. Leon's not just anyone. He saved my life back in Raccoon City. Fair enough. Look out! Not. Doesn't mean we gotta make things easy for him. He'll be fine. Okay? You're right. We should hurry. Ku Cheng is up ahead, at the mouth of the river. All right, come on. You worry about Simmons, right? You're gonna be fine.
Jesus Christ! <laughs> Buddies in the BSAA. is the Titanic. as soon as we can. Boss still keeping tabs on you, huh? For now. Let's go then. If Leon was right about Simmons, I want you to run. <laughs> no matter what happens. Promise me. Fine. Agent Birkin, impeccable timing. Kindly take these two into custody, won't you? They said you were involved in the terrorist attack. Is it true? What? Are they running down the street, screaming it to anyone who listen? Answer me! It's for the benefit of the United States and global security. You can't see how killing the president is good for the country! The president's dead? Well, we have Leon to thank for that. God damn you, Simmons! 
dispose of them. Still of use to us. You need to be more careful. All right, all right. So what's the plan, hero? You think you can make it to that door? Why don't we just waste them? Because I need you to take care of Sherry. Can we wrap this up? I do have better things to do. What are you two gonna do? Finish Simmons. There's information on here that could stop the C-Virus. Simmons wants it. Thanks. I'll put a call on the FOS, get you some protection. Now move! Go! Run! Not a chance. You promised! I lied. should have been able to see through his lies. This is all my fault. This fallen orders, right? I thought you were doing the right thing. Find the vaccine. Save the world and all that. What the hell just happened? Ugh, of course. They took our weapons. Hey, there's our gear. How do we get in there? Save me from climbing through those air ducts. Not bad for a girl.
patience, pal. I see you're okay. Wait, was that you who just freed us? Looks like you guys saved the day again, huh? I can see your father in you. How did you know? Hey, hold on a second. I see you know him? Yeah, I did. I'm the one that killed him. It was you? That's right. Chris? You better put a leash on that puppy. This is between me and him. Go ahead. Shoot. You have every right to. <laughs> Just promise me you'll survive. The world depends on it. Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? Stop it! Put your gun down! Now! Tell me. We just following orders? Or was it personal? Both. Jake, please Before stop. Put a bullet Just in your put head. Put your gun down. Rub your Don't weapon. do this. Ah! There are more important things at stake than you and me. Gotta go! Jake! I know! We're in trouble. Yeah, just a bit. We gotta get out of here in one HQ. You know, you didn't have to put yourself on the line like that. Let's get Sir 20 guys. You did what was right. You kept this world safe. Still his father. The kid had the right to know. 
Well, I'll tell you this much. You can't say I'm back for adventure working with you. Sorry. I know it's never been easy being my partner. Once we get out of here, all that's gonna change. <laughs> Jake. Spare me the lecture, all right? We need to find a way out. I'm going to find it. Look, if this is over, please just talk to Chris. And not down the barrel of a gun, okay? It's my problem, not yours. Right, I don't want to think about that asshole or my father right now. I'm going to worry about them if and when we get out of here. Go. Wait! Hey! We got a job to finish. There is no way they can take that thing! We are not going back. But they're gonna get killed! Then that's their choice! It's a sacrifice they're willing to make, and we can't stop them. Jake! You know what? I'm not my father. I'm gonna make damn sure that it stays that way. We're getting out of here. And we're gonna save the world. You're right. Let's go. Get some, you ugly son of a bitch! Jerry, we gotta take this fight somewhere else!
settle this mano a mano. And there's no goddamn steering! Christ almighty! What does it take to lose this guy? Come on! We have to move further up! Jesus, take the hit! Jake! Keep going!
save me. You know that, don't you? Six months worth of test results retrieved from Neo Umbrella's archives. With the data now in the right hands, things seem to be finally settling down. Following Jake's rescue, BSAA officials classified his relationship to Albert Wesker as top secret, recognizing the threat it could pose to global security.